and ETS have been a major topic of discussion for the last few months and have mostly revolved around Bitcoin. This time Ethereum is the subject of the latest ETF related uh, development. Uh, the SEC has reportedly acknowledged review of two ETF applications pertaining to Ethereum. Uh, the ETF applications in question were filed by ARK Invest and VanEck. Um, the acknowledgement might not necessarily be an approval, but it highlights a positive step forward as opposed to uh, a rejection uh, from the regulatory authority. Uh, and, you know, some sort of purpose and did admit people because they have a, a mystery of APA. Uh, Lunar Crush Social Trends, September 22nd, 2023. Uh, the above outcome means there's a considerable chance that, uh, you know, the two ETF filings might receive approval sometime soon. Uh, there will be a 45 day period uh, during which members of the public uh, will be allowed to issue uh, their opinions uh, regarding the ETF. So um, uh, while this does not constitute confirmation that the ETS will be approved, it points towards a potential positive outcome. An approval of the Ethereum ETFs would open the floodgates of institutional liquidity into the cryptocurrency. The subsequent demand could potentially facilitate a bullish outcome the ETFs, ETFs uh, come at a time when the cryptocurrency has been uh, struggling to secure bullish momentum. Uh, and the ETF-related development signals that uh, the cryptocurrency could be about to experience a wave of bullish demand towards the end of 2023. However, these expectations are far from reality and are subject to confirmation of approval. In other words, approval is not yet within the realm of certainty Let's take a look at ETH's state of demand. The token was starting to experience higher demand than sell pressure at press time. An assessment of ETH exchange flows revealed that it had higher outflows than inflows in the last 24 hours. Uh, however, uh, the exchange flows have dipped considerably, uh, which aligned with the lack of, uh, of excitement in the market. Uh, the exchange flows uh, suggests that the bulls might be attempting a gradual takeover. Um, however, they were not the only metrics pointing towards such an outcome. And notably, Ethereum's active addresses recently registered an uptick in the last five days after its previous dip. The same applies to the derivative segment as the level of opened interest soars to a monthly high. And, uh, you know, based on the above findings, it appears that ETH demand is making a comeback. This has been the case in the last three months, each time it dropped below the $16,000 price range.